Welcome, John with Citizen Survival Plan here today. In today's video, we are going to see if radio manufacturers even follow the power restriction rules for GMRS frequencies. I think you're going to find this interesting. I get a lot of calls on my radio programming line where people are concerned about breaking the rules and breaking power rules. In today's video, we are going to take a real type accepted GMRS radio and we're going to find out if it is even following the rules. Okay, for this demo, the first thing I'm going to do is factory reset it. That way we all know this is a GMRS radio. The GMRS channels are in it, and we will go back to the factory configuration. So here we have GMRS channel 1. Let's go ahead and see how much power this puts out on high. Let's get this in the camera. And let's transmit. Wow, 8 watts, over 8 watts. So channel 1 is supposed to be limited to 2 watts on FRS and 5 watts on GMRS. So this type accepted radio is breaking the rules. Let's move up to channel 10, where FRS and GMRS are both limited to a half of a watt. So let's, let's scroll up. Let's go to 10. This is the most restrictive channel on FRS and GMRS. Let's see. Let's go ahead and see what it does here. Wow, we are more than double breaking the rules. I mean, we are double the power, more than double the power. This is supposed to be a half watt. We're almost at 1.5 watts here. We have 1.20 watts. So this is breaking the rules the whole way. Now, it's on low. Let's see if we can turn the power up. Okay, let's hit TXP. Let's try and go in high. Nope, it won't let me. So this thing is attempting. It is attempting to follow the rules, but it can't. It is breaking the rules the whole way through the channels. I can even do this all day. I can go to, let's go to 15, which a handheld should be stuck at 5 watts. 8 watts, way over. And this just goes to show you that nobody follows these power rules, not even the manufacturers. This is one more point I want to make about these power restrictions. Technically, with GMRS, the power restriction should be 5 watts on handheld. As you see, this is 8 watts on handheld. How will the FCC know whether you are transmitting on a handheld or a base mobile station? Because the mobile units are limited to 50 watts. There is no way for them to tell.